Good morning. Looks like energy levels are a bit down. Well, uh, we are going to discuss about a topic which has been much debated in the last couple of years, which is about creating a safety culture. Creating a safety culture. Let's straight away move into this presentation. Much has been said about safety culture in the past, and people still discuss about what is the safety culture all about. Safety culture consists of shared beliefs, practices, and attitudes that exist in an establishment. When you come to establishment, this is what it is. When it comes to community, what you see a group of people doing is believed as a culture. I am going to give three examples of uh, global companies, and I just want a feedback from you what kind of culture they have. Number one, 1994. Anybody has heard of IKEA, furniture manufacturer? In 1994, IKEA was pulled up by the International Labor Organization, Geneva, ILO Geneva, saying that they are using child labor and bonded labor in manufacturing furniture in Indonesia, Philippines, and Vietnam. The organization is using child labor and bonded labor in Philippines, Vietnam and Indonesia. 2008, the major telecom company Grameen Phone in Bangladesh, they were pulled up by ILO and WHO for using child labor, forced labor, bonded labor in Bangladesh. 2010, late 2010, one of the global giants, Walmart, said, they have child labor, forced labor, bonded labor in their supply chain, and also they are not paying the minimum wages, they are not paying overtime, and those kind of issues. These three incidences talks about how organization perceives in exploiting the workforce. When we come into culture, I said it consists of shared beliefs, practices, and attitudes that exist in an establishment. How do we develop a safety culture? Let's look at how do we develop a safety culture. When we induct a new employee into the organization, if the organization does not have systems and standards and practices in place, the employees will try to take shortcuts to achieve their goals. They act in such a way that they do not conform to the proper way of working. This act, after some time, becomes a bad practice. This bad practice becomes a habit. 